Hello everyone, I am back, and I am back with another makeup tutorial, of course, and it's going to be on this look that you see. Um, I just wanted to do something a little bit different. I was trying to think of ideas of what to do for my next video, and I just wanted to do something I haven't done or something similar to, and I just decided to do a smoky eye, something kind of rock starish and glamorous all at the same time, and this is what I came up with. And if you would like to see how I did this look, then stay tuned. All right, so I have already primed my eye with the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. As a base, I use the Maybelline Color Tattoo. And this is, is like, this is a burgundy shade. This one is called Pomegranate Punk. And as you can see, I've already applied that to the lid and slightly past the crease. And for the lower lash line, I have already applied a base as well. And I'm going to be, well, I use, I should say, the LA Colors Jumbo Pencil. And this is like a purple burgundy shade, and it has glitter in it. And this one is in Vacation. Okay, so next I'm going to show you the shadow that I am going to use. And this one is by Milani. And it is called Famous Duo. I believe this is not even sold anymore. And when it was, it was limited edition. I know it's hard to see because of the mirror type reflection it has on the back. But um, I guess a good substitute for this look could be the Revlon Diamond Dust. This is more purple, and the other one is more of like a red and silver, the one that I'm going to use. But as a substitute, I think the um, Revlon Diamond Dust shadows could be a good substitute for this look. And this one is in Plum Galaxy. Okay, so... I'm going to grab my e.l.f. shader brush and apply Famous Duo to the lid. I'm just going to pack on as much of this color as I can. Okay, I think that's good enough for now. So next I'm going to grab my Inglot palette. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I'm going to use this black shade right here, this matte black. And this is AMC 63. And that's what I'm going to apply to the outer V. And I'm going to drag it onto the lash line. And the brush I'm using right now is a small shader brush by Sonia Kashuk. And you can get this at Target. And I'm just going to blend inward.
Okay, so next I'm going to grab my Coastal Sense blending brush and I'm just going to blend this black. Excuse me. And I'm also going to use another Inglot shadow, and this is a charcoal shade. And this one is Pearl 451. And I'm going to blend that up in the crease. And blend it over into the black. And I'm going to grab some more of the black and just try to darken it up a little bit and keep blending. Okay, so next I'm going to get a little bit more of the black and I'm going to apply it to the Sonia Kashuk brush and I'm going to drag this black down to the lower lash line. I'm not going to worry about it being sloppy because I'm going to clean it up with a wipe. Okay, so next I'm going to grab some more of the Famous Duo and just go over what I've just applied, the charcoal, because I want to add a little bit of shimmer to it. Okay, so next I'm going to grab another clean blending brush and I'm going to apply another Inglot shadow as a highlight. And it's going to be this shade right here and this is DS467. Okay, so next I'm just going to grab the fluffy brush that had the black on it and just keep blending. And I'm just going to darken this lower lash line. Okay, so next I'm going to wipe off my Sonia Kashuk brush and apply some the Milani Famous Duo and apply it to the inner corner and the lower lash line.
Then I'm going to wipe that off again and go back into the matte black and darken up this lower lash line again, blending the famous duo and the matte black together. Okay, so it looks like I need a little bit of the charcoal to add a little bit of sheen to this side, like I did this side I need. And I'm just going to add a little bit more. And I'm going to do it to the side I've already worked on. I'm going to grab a little more black, darken this up. Okay, so next I'm going to grab a makeup wipe. And I'm just going to start to clean up my mess. Just sharpen up the edges. And I'm going to start like kind of like in the middle. Okay, so next I'm going to grab a little bit of my foundation, which is the hip, the L'Oreal hip, and I'm Sable 822, and I'm just going to go over what I have wiped. I'm going to grab a pencil brush and just try to fix this edge. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Okay, so next I'm going to grab my liquid liner and this is a Maybelline Ultra Liner and I'm going to make a thick line and I'm going to wing it out and I want it to be really thick Sorry, I didn't know if I was out the frame. I'm just going to hold my eye. Okay, so um, you already know what I'm going to do, so I'm just going to go ahead and finish up this eye, make it straight, and go ahead and set my foundation, apply false lashes, and I will be back. Okay, you guys, I am back, and here's the finished look. Yeah, um, right now I'm just going to go ahead and give you a run through of the items that I used while I was off camera. Um, I Today I set my foundation, which I used the... L'Oreal hip line and I'm Sable 822 but this time I set my foundation with the Ben Nye 
translucent face powder. It's kind of hard to see. But um, I just got this in today and I was just dying to use it. I was so anxious to use it. So um, I applied that first and then I applied my usual MAC Studio Fix. And I am NW, NW45. But yeah, I really do like this um, Ben Nye powder though. Um, I found it on eBay. I don't recall what the um, seller what the name of the seller I should say but um, I'll get that information but um, it was fairly to look up I just put in Ben Nye powder and then it came up um, for contouring I did a little bit of contouring it might be a little bit difficult to see but um, I used the CoverGirl Queen collection and this is a bronzer and it is an ebony bronze For cheeks, I use the Milani Baked, Baked Blush, and this is in Fantastical Mauve. Just like this. It's a pretty purple-pink shade. And for lips, I use a Nika K Lipstick, and this one's in Black Orchid. It's a pretty purple, but it kind of has, like, red undertone. And I'm going to try to show the number and the name doesn't look like it wants to focus but it's called black orchid and for lip gloss of course I had to wear lip gloss it this one is by L'Oreal the hip line as well and it's astonishing astonishing I mean and that's what I layered on top for um, lip liner, I just used an eye pencil, and this was in like a gift package during Christmas time that you get, and it's by the Color Workshop. It's just a brown pencil. Um, nothing special. And for lips, I mean, excuse me, for eyes, I used the Mega Protein Mascara by Wet n Wild. And to line my waterline, I used this e.l.f. Liner and shadow stick. It has two sides, and I just use the liner part, the black liner. I really do like to use this because it's really creamy and pigmented. And um, for lashes, I use some um, lashes that I picked up from the beauty supply store. They're called La Charm. I believe that's, I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it, but yeah, they're number 13, and that's the lashes that I applied today. Of course, I had to have lashes with this look. But yeah, um, you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this look and this tutorial. I hope you try it out, and um, I will see you guys soon with another video. Take care, and God bless.